Hey guys, I'm Eric. I'm going to show you how to clean the burette before you start your titration. So first you're going to get distilled water and then you're going to slowly pour some distilled water while tilting and rolling the burette to clean. And then, and then every time you rinse, you just let the water out. As such, <laughs> we're gonna pour the water into the waste beaker. It's recommended to clean the burette more than once, and for the second time, add a little titrate, which we added in here in this beaker, to make sure that the burette is clean. What is our titrant today? Uh, our titrant is 0.1 molar ammonium hydroxide. And then dispense to the waste beaker. Here the titration, you're going to need more, a little more than 50 milliliters of titrant. Then you're going to put it into a filter. And then you're going to slowly add into and make sure there's a waste beaker just in case of like any excess titrant like falls or overflows or... Turn the stopcock on to let some of the titrant fall just to make sure there's some titrant has seeped through the, the tip. Yep. Alright, so now we're going to do the titration. Make sure that you have a white piece of paper as a background so you can see the colors better. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take the stopcock with your left hand, if you're right-handed, and your Erlenmeyer flash with your right hand, and slowly turn it on. And you're going to swirl with your right hand until it changes color. Now, you're supposed to read, or give 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds for the liquid to drain off of the burette, and then you're supposed to read the volume, which is going to be right under 50, so it looks like we used a little over 50 milliliters of our titrant to titrate. Okay, so when you're done with the titration, you're going to want to put all of the liquid substances into the waste beaker. Or the place directed by your instructor. And, and you're gonna want to take it off the burette and then drain the remaining liquid, which for us is practically none. There we go. And then you're gonna want to clean the burette. With the same procedure as we did the first time, tilt with deionized water and to cover all sides of the burette. After you do this, drain and repeat this several times until there's no water on the side walls of the burette.